Hi everyone, so I'm going to be showing you how to create a welcome mat using two methods. The first method is going to be if you have only 12 by 12 Cricut mats. And the second method is for if you have a 12 by 24. So the first step is that I'm going to be doing is duplicating this image. The second SVG I'm going to be changing to a purple color, which will be for if you have a 12 by 24 mat. So if you do not have a 12 by 20 format and you only have the 12 by 12, the first thing you're going to do is go to shapes and select the square. You're going to then change this square to be unlocked. So you're going to click that little lock symbol and allows you to adjust it to your liking. So you're going to half in the shape. Once you have half in it, you're going to select it and go down to the bottom and slice it. After you have sliced it, you're going to delete the excess shapes, but be sure not, not to delete the black that you're going to need. As you can see, it's going to be create two shapes, and this will allow you to half in the image for two mats. So once you have done that, you're going to go to make it, and as you can see, you have your first half on the first mat, and then you have your second half will be on the second mat. And if you have a 12 by 24, you would just use one mat, of course. So we're going to go ahead and click make it for that and we're going to be selecting vinyl. And after your words have cut out, the first step will be to weed out your letters. So that's what you will see me doing in the clip, weeding out all of the letters. And here are the materials I use. I use these sponge brushes. I use black acrylic paints. And I also have these medicine cups that I use to put the paint inside. I did use the sponge brushes. However, I would not recommend those paint brushes because they soak up all the paint. So I would just recommend using regular paint brushes because they will work better and not absorb your paint. Now I'm going to place my image onto the mat and to perfectly align it, I'm going to slowly peel back the blue backing of the vinyl. And you want to be very careful with this step because it is kind of intricate. And also you will notice the inside of your letters may still be stuck on the white backing, but that is okay because after I have laid the vinyl down, I'm going to go back and put the inserts inside of the letters. And once you have carefully laid your first half, you will just repeat the same steps for your second half. I will say that using two mats definitely makes this project a little bit more of a hassle so if you can go ahead and get a larger mat because it will save you a lot of headache in the end 
And now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I have completed this project using a larger mat. So the first thing that I did was cut the vinyl of course and then I went ahead and weeded out the letters as you will see in the clip. And with this second time around, I did try a different method with using transfer tape to see that it would allow the vinyl to transfer easier on the mat. And for the most part, it did make it a little bit easier, but it was pretty much about the same. But if you want to, you can use transfer tape. And you see me here, I am rubbing the transfer tape against my sweater to make it a little less sticky. And to remove the transfer tape, I am just carefully and slowly moving it. The clip is sped up so it does look a lot faster, but I am going very slow because the inside of the letters were lifting. So if you do use transfer tape, you just want to be very careful when you are removing it. Next I'm going to be taking my blow dryer to adhere the vinyl to the rug a little bit more. Some people choose to use pins, however I think that the blow drying method works well. However, you do not want to have your blow dryer extremely hot. As you can see it's kind of making the vinyl kind of warp to the mat, but it's going to remove easily as you will see at the end of this clip. But I think that blow drying it to the mat makes it a little better with adhering and when you're doing your painting it will be a little bit better and it won't lift as much. Now I'm going in with my paint and as I said in the clip before I would not recommend these sponge brushes because I noticed that it was absorbing a lot of the paint. So if you're doing this project, just go ahead and get a regular brush.
And after I have completely painted over the letters, the last step is to remove the vinyl. And I did remove it while it was still wet without any issues. But some people may choose to allow it to dry, but I just removed it while it was still wet. And it removed easily. And that is it for this tutorial you guys i hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like this video and comment down below on what you would like to see next i thank you all for watching and i will see you on my next upload bye